No, no, the, the analysis we did, we even offset the possibility of even repaying the investment. The cost of the refinery, the cost of uh, 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 the smelter, and all of that. Even if you offset all of them, what you are taking, you, you can only add the uh, recurrent expenditure, which is the operational cost. Mm. If you add the operational cost and assume everything else is profit. How many years did you use? So we used uh, uh, 11 years, straight line, which is the amortization period for some of the, most oh, yeah, of these yeah, projects. Yeah. About 11, and you still didn't years. see any scenario Within that under period, which we can There is no back. scenario that pays $2 billion. Hey. And these are the numbers that ought to be available, where they are getting the numbers from, yeah. so that people can actually look into these numbers to say that if somebody puts up a refinery and assume that even the refinery will be put up by government itself, <coughs> so then nobody pays for it. But even the two billion, we are not seeing part of that going to build a refinery. We are not seeing part of that buying the, infra uh, the, the technology that is required to even dig the earth to be able to produce uh, uh, the bauxite. There is nothing what wrong. What if we don't do a refinery? We just produce raw bauxite. <laughs> we retrofit Valco. Mm -hmm. Valco buys back and uh, even the, ba the, the, the refined and does the smelting. So that Valco plus raw. Well, that, did you consider that scenario? Valco has its own challenges which also has to be analyzed. Okay. And we've done that in our paper.